Hey folks, had a card show over the weekend and I got some awesome pickups to share with you today. Before we get started, make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe. Your support for the channel is always appreciated. But I'll let you guys take a look. I got some video of the showcases. Ended up being a lot of variety at the show. Um, what's always tough, this is a normal show I go to. Some of the dealers are a little bit high with their price, but I was still able to find some really good value plays. First up is just a real easy Joe Burrow Prestige. Uh, had $6 on it. Offered him 5 That's about what it's worth, but Burrow stuff is a little bit harder to find now, even if it is in that LSU uniform with the Bengals logo, but 5 bucks for that one. Yeah, that, absolutely. That was a pretty cool pickup. Next was a couple $6 cards. Got them for 10 I think you're going to see a little bit of a trend. I think a pretty good value right now is Travis Etienne. This is going to be an elite out of $5.99. And then I was pretty pumped to find this one. Really solid card. This is going to be a Nick Bosa, Optic Contenders Pink. Numbered out of 75 but yeah, really solid card for $5. Could not be happier with that one. Next up was some $5 bin cards. First one, really excited for this one. This is going to be an Alan Lazard. This is going to be the Phoenix Yellow. And that is going to be numbered out of 75. Curious to see what he does with the Jets this year. Next up is an Iowa guy. And it's going to be a Sean Green. I think this is Topps Victory, if I remember right. Sorry, Tops Valor. But yeah, Iowa guy, five bucks auto. Yeah, absolutely. Then as a Lions fan, I saw this one. I had definitely had to pick it up. Going to be a Billy Sims out of Upper Deck Black. A very cool USA flag patch on this one. And that is going to be numbered out of 250. Just don't really see a whole lot of stuff like this anymore. This is out of 09, so very cool card. Awesome addition to my Lions PC. And then I thought this was pretty cool. It's in a half price box. It is going to be a one on one printing plate of Juju Smith Schuster. Not too sure how I feel on plates. I don't usually go out of my way to pick them up, but I thought this one, 15 bucks. We'll see what he does for the Patriots. Just came off a Super Bowl win. So, very cool card. Next up is a little bit of stuff that I got out of a dollar bin. Uh, I think it was about 10 cards, and I got them for eight. Uh, first up, nothing too special. A couple Najee Harris optic rookies. Going to be a teal laser of Panay Sewell. Really like that parallel out of optic. Those are so cool. Another teal is going to be Kane Wangwu. Got that one as well. The silver red hot rookies of Devonta Smith. I don't usually pick up a lot of Chronicle stuff, but for a buck, the Red Iron Kings green of Justin Fields. Thought that was a good deal. Then how about a Fernando Tatis refractor? Thought that was a pretty good deal for a buck. Uh, Going to be out of Optic Contenders as well. A Tatis, I think that's like a red wave. Numbered out of 199 Yeah, dollar card. That was definitely worth it. And then I think the best two out of that dollar box was a Travis ETN Blue Scope out of Optic. Those are awesome. I like that parallel a lot. And then also a Mosaic Green. Not too bad. 
ETN, like I said, is a really good bargain. I think he's going to be a solid player for a really long time. Then next up is a little lot that sticker price, I think, was uh, like $37, $38. I got this group of cards for $30. Bucks. First up is going to be a couple 50-cent cards. Going to be a Seiya Suzuki out of Bowman Chrome. I just don't have a one of these, so I wanted that for the PC. That was uh, 50 cents. And then also, this is probably one of the better 50 cent bin cards that I've picked up in a while. This is going to be a Josh Donaldson out of Prism. I think this is going to be like the uh, Red Shimmer, if I remember right. But uh, finding a card numbered out of seven for 50 cents. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. I will pick that up any day. Kind of curious to see what happens with Mac Jones and the Pats this year. Picked up four Optic rookies. Uh, had them stickered at three bucks a piece, but I did a little bit better than that. I have a feeling at the end of this year, these are either going to be worth a lot more or, well, nothing. Just depending on how the Patriots do and what they do with Mac Jones. But I thought for the price, that wasn't too bad. Going to be a blue prism. That is of Khalil Mack. I always forget which year they have the super short print for the blues. I don't think it was this year, so that was maybe not the best pickup, but for two bucks, it was worth taking a chance. Guy who signed a new contract, that's going to be a Daniel Jones Silver out of Prism Draft. Uh, not too bad. I uh, thought that was a really good card for a buck. Definitely worth more than a dollar right now, so solid pickup for that. I know the Panthers have the number one overall pick now, but... See what happens with Matt Corral. Thought a mosaic green for a buck. That's not bad. We'll just hang on to it and see what happens. Then a couple of the more interesting cards. I don't know much about them, but I thought the signature, I think, I don't know if that's like Thai or what his signature was. He's from Taiwan. But thought that was really cool. Kind of a unique card for five bucks. Yeah, we'll just pick that up and see what happens there. And then next card is going to be something that hopefully this guy can turn his career around a little bit. Going to be a Gary Sanchez out of Topps Triple Thread. Numbered out of 18. But it's kind of wild. He had nearly 60 home runs in his first 200 games. And I think it was God, last year he had kind of a rough year with the Yankees. And then he got traded to Minnesota and he just... I think he recently signed with the Giants, a minor league deal, so we'll see if he's back in the majors pretty soon here. And then the last few cards, it's part of a trade. I traded in some stuff, picked up a few graded cards. First one is going to be an SGC 10 of Nicole Hardman. This is going to be the Hyper, numbered out of 175. Kind of the same thing as Lazard. Curious to see what happens with the Jets. If they get Rodgers in there, I think... There's going to be a couple guys that are going to have some huge seasons. We'll see if McCall Hardman's one of them, but uh, $25 a trade value. I thought that was a pretty good deal. Then next up is a card that I know he's hurt, but it really does seem like this is a pretty good deal right now. It's going to be a PSA 9 of Kyler Murray. And I think these are going on eBay for about like 20 bucks now, but I was okay with this. Um, I think about a year ago before the season, this was probably like a 50 to $75 card. So if you're patient enough to wait for him to come back from his injury, see if the cards turn thing around, uh, this is a pretty good deal. And then the last card is just something that I saw it. I just had to have it. It's just really unique. And that is going to be a 1999 Bowman's Best Refractor of Natron Means. And that is a PSA 10. I am a sucker for these late 90s, early 2000s inserts, especially like the Bowman's Best, Bowman, Topps Chrome, stuff like that. But yeah, it is so hard to find any of these in good condition. And, you know, the 90s, it was a, you know, time of the running back. Natron means, I, I would say he was like probably the top half of the league for running backs in his time. So this was a really solid card. Yeah, when I saw it, I knew I had to have it. This is... So cool. Just check the shine on that Bowman's Best Refractor. That is so cool. But folks, that is going to do it for my card show pickups. If you haven't already done so, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.